All right, good morning and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Um, I don't think I've told you why we call it Flannel Hill. So this is, ooh, this is a muddy mess. Great for the dogs, I guess. Get all muddy. Where are you, dogs? So this is Bentley, the beagle, and KK, Kehlani, the Border Collie Lab Mix, who's a hoot. You never know if you're getting a Border Collie or a Lab. It's a fun game. All right, so this is the hill. It's more like a slope. It's a pretty good slope. So I don't know if you can tell how far down this goes, but this is what we're farming on, which means everything is at an angle. I'll try to show you what the Toyota looks like parked. It's not on the driveway and the driveway is not level by any means, but can you see this hill we got working here? Um, so. Lots of dirt work happens to make it level. Um, so here you can see the Toyota's at quite the angle. Um, we did get water in yesterday. Lucas at Gentile Plumbing down here, phenomenal dude, got us our water hydrant, which means water run to the motorhome and no more running into town to fill up gallon jugs of water for dog water, for coffee, for stuff like that. By the way, if anybody has any ideas on how to make me want to drink coffee as opposed to Mountain Dew, I am all ears. I have tried tons of cream, tons of sugar, hot chocolate mixed with coffee. I just, it's too bitter. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, so here is another example. This is a, hmm, I think it's 12 by 30 shed. Okay, so in the span of 30 feet, we go from being, KK, thank you, very helpful, from being a Brick and a four by four off of the ground to basically four bricks and a four by four and some shims. So it's a hill. Flannel hill farm. Um so today what is on the agenda? More mowing. Um, Big K appears to be having some problems with some allergy stuff. So he might be wearing a mask to cut down on the pollen that he's getting. I gotta look and see if I can find some more allergy medication in that cluster. Um, We did get another chef shelf built yesterday, so that was good. I think that was about it. Oh, I did laundry too, which has been fun. Um, so this shelf is now built here. That is the same as the one on the other side. Um, just basically getting boxes up off the floor so that you can walk around in here until we sort through everything hopefully get the house built. There's kind of a funky timeline with that. I, it could have been done right away. Problem being how, what house we're doing. So we're doing, um, at the moment, the idea is to do a concrete slab with an ICF or insulated concrete form house which is you get these forms we're going to get fox blocks forms and you stack them up into your walls and then they come and they dump concrete down in there 
And what that does is it basically is going to double as a storm shelter down here in southwest Missouri. is not a bad idea. So it'll double as a storm shelter, a house, and the walls will have an R value of 60. So it'll be like nothing to heat and cool. But with that being said, we need a stretch of time where we can get a slab poured and the blocks put in, which I think we can do the blocks ourselves. My problem is, is I have three funerals to go to in June because of how the country has been, the world has been. We've had to put a couple of them off and now we're gonna do them like all at the same time. So I have three grandparents that I have to bury in June. So I gotta wait. I think waiting to do all the concrete and the housework is probably best until after that. So that is why the house is going to be, the house is putting things on hold a little bit, which is fine. I mean, getting the garden in and everything, getting chicken coop built before that, because we won't get chickens until after that. And then everything will kind of all happen really fast all at the same time, I think. So, but being prepared is good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna prep for everything and then we'll get things moving. I have lost a beagle. That's not good. If you know anything about beagles, they follow their nose. So, I don't have a beagle nose, so I don't know where we're headed. And I have a 13 inch beagle that, that is way more than 13 inches. So here, I will go down to the end. Ooh, hole. Big holes. Um, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the property and then I will show you what it looks like to be up at the top from the bottom, what that looks like. I still have a border collar lab mix, but I do not have a beagle. Should probably remedy that. So that is what that looks like. So you can see this hill is quite a doozy. So if I'm videoing and walking, bear in mind, I'm climbing a hill, which should get better. It shouldn't get so winded after you do it quite a few times. So that is the plan for today. Um, might be going into town. We have to return a part to the tractor dealer. Um, I don't even know. It was, uh, they, the pin was slightly bent, so you couldn't put the sleeve on it to attach it. I don't know anything about tractors. That's Big K's deal. I, tractors aren't my thing. Um, I might be, learning to drive it. I don't know, seems like I I don't know. I'll see how I feel about the tractor. It's a lot bigger than me. So, okay. Well, I'm going to have to go on a beagle hunt. I will let you know if anything else comes up, um, remember you can get little snippet updates on Instagram. Um, otherwise, I will see you again tomorrow. You'll have to let me know if you think more than once a day videos, once a day for now until after June. Yeah, let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. Um, do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, do the things. 
I will see you tomorrow. Have fun climbing that hill.